Hi everybody, my name is Julio Gonzalez and today I'm going to be showing you how to make paper flowers. These flowers are part of a project that I do every year around the end of October, beginning of November for Dia de los Muertos. And this is a time, if you don't know, when uh, families typically celebrate loved ones. And if you were to go to Mexico around that time, you would find these orange and yellow marigolds everywhere, almost like you would find uh, a, palm, a pine tree uh, during Christmas. You find these, uh, these marigolds everywhere. So what do you need to make a marigold, a paper flower? Obviously you need some tissue paper. Uh, I use orange tissue paper, but I'm going to show you that any tissue paper will work. I have a smaller size here, but you can use pretty much any size you want. Just regular old scissors here. and. Uh, pipe cleaners. So I have cut these in half to uh, get a little bit more flowers for each one, but uh, typically your pipe cleaner is going to come in a long uh, strand like this. I fold it in half and then cut it and then you get two. And these are what hold the flowers together, but I'm going to show you that in just a minute. Alright, so I'm going to put this here to the side and I'm going to grab some other tissue paper that I have already kind of prepared. So what you'll need is, um, you can use maybe five at a minimum, but you really ideally I think would use six to kind of get the real uh, pop and ruffle that you want. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and you want to sometimes, you might want to lick your hand, maybe not, or have, have something on your fingers to kind of make sure that you're, you're not getting too many. Um, when you're counting because sometimes you think you have six and really you have eight but if you have a couple of extra in there you'll just have a fluffier flower not a big deal so once you have your sheets laid out all together nice and in order what we're going to do is we're going to turn it long ways so that it's laid out in front of you and we're going to do what's called an accordion fold so let me show you an orange one that is kind of pre-made here. So you, we're going to make this, this fold right here that's called an accordion fold. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. So um, some, some people will fold like this, just fold it over. And a good rule of thumb is to use uh, maybe like this much. Uh, so what is that? Maybe one, two inches? roughly about maybe half your finger. Some of you, if you have smaller fingers, maybe use the whole finger. But you want to get around two inches, so maybe if you have someone there, they can help you with the measurement. But if you get an idea, this is about how much you need to fold over. And then fold like that. Fold like so. And you keep folding over do it from the side so you can see. Press it down. It doesn't have to be 100% exact. You see how it's kind of like creeping out and getting a little bit longer. You can um, adjust how the fold is, is going compared to the previous fold. And you just keep going like this. So you fold the whole thing, and each time you can kind of press it down if you like, and then you get this accordion fold. And because the paper is so big compared to the other one that I showed you, it's kind of all over the place, but you get the idea. So now I'm going to show you another way to fold them. I'm going to move this out to the side. That way it's out of the way. And just gonna get another set here. One, two, three, and you know what? Let's let's mix it up. There we go. One, two, three. Three and three is six. I just love that one. Alright, so. have these three here, you're going to lay down 
these three on top, flatten it out, they're lined up. Again, we're going to have it out in front of us. And if you remember, we would fold about half a finger, about two inches, and then we would flip the paper over. There's another way that you can do this which is a little bit faster. So you, you do the same initial fold, and then you take it and you push it up under with your thumb here, and you press down. I do this from the side one time, so you can see. So you have the first fold that you did, and you grab that, down and then you can continue and that saves you time from having to pick up the whole sheet and I'm gonna I'm gonna speed it up now so you can see a lot quicker and you still achieve the same effect of that accordion fold that you want. Now that we have these, we can go on to our next step. We have our folded paper. The next step, we're going to trim off the edges. And so what this does is, what you have this, this uh, flared effect it's, it's all achieved because of this cutting that we're going to do. So it doesn't have to be very precise. You can just, you just want to cut off this corner piece and make it almost to a point here. We'll do the same thing so you can see an example. Sharp scissors are good here, but just be careful. You don't want to force anything and cut your fingers. And so we have this angle here almost to a point and a little bit of a uh, flat part here. I have some other examples that you can see that show you how it's not an exact science and these are perfectly fine as well. Let's do the same thing here with the paper that we folded first. So again, you just cut these off. Just cut these off. Cut these. And you have this shape like this. And then you also have some cool confetti. Let me clear all this off. And what I'm going to do next is actually I'm going to try something different. I'm going to show you that you can cut these in half and make smaller flowers if you have big paper. And so you get the same, it's just however, however big or however small you want your flower to be. Either way it works and I'm going to show you how the outcomes will be different. All right, so how do we go from folded paper to a beautiful flower? The key is the pipe cleaner in the back. So earlier when I was folding the paper, I realized that my pipe cleaners are a little bit too small. I, sh I should have either used a longer pipe cleaner or I should have folded the paper a little bit shorter. Because what you have, what you really want to do is make sure that your pipe cleaner has about this much room when you are folding your paper. And what this will allow you to do is twist and so your flower is held together like so. And then we're going to open the flower and begin to pull the paper up. And then as we pull it up, the flower will quote unquote bloom. So,
what I've done is I refolded the paper that I initially did a little bit thinner and I need to recut the edges. Again, that's the beauty of this project is that it's not an exact science and the mistakes actually add a little bit more style and character to what you're making. So again, you can kind of see the original folds and then I added, I, I went back and folded it again even smaller so that my pipe cleaner would fit. But if you have the longer pipe cleaners, they'll work just fine. All right, so let me go ahead and use If I could get it to come off. All right, and you see we have this wrapped around. And what you can do with this extra is if you have a lot of them, you could then take a string and tie the string around here. And you can use that to string them up in a long chain of flowers. We'll get to that later. Now that we have the pipe cleaner attached, you see it's all connected, it kind of wants to open up. This is where it takes a little bit of time and you have to slow down because if you go really fast, you're just gonna rip the paper. So you take your first sheet, remember we had six sheets. You take your first sheet and you start from one end. You'll start say from here and you work your way all the way around. Or you can start from here and work all the way around and you take the first sheet and you start pulling it up separating it and you're gonna say well mine doesn't look right at the beginning it doesn't you just got to trust the process so you grab the next sheet on the same side and start separating it out and you'll say but mine still doesn't look right am I doing it right just make sure you pull but don't pull so much that it tears that's what you don't want but if you tear it a little bit it gets hitting in here and so you won't really see it and you know how hard not to pull next time. So we're still on this side and you keep pulling it out, separating the paper. And this is why depending on how many sheets of paper you put in at the beginning will determine how much fluffing you have to do in the end. So we just continue to separate the paper and let's see what we have here. We have half a flower and then we're going to begin the same process on this side. Because of all the fluff you might take again a little bit of time, find the first sheet that's on top and slowly methodically just start separating the paper. And if you're in a classroom with a lot of people doing this, you just hear like a lot of rustling paper. It's really fun. When I'm doing the project, we do about 3,000 of these over the course of a couple of months with a bunch of people in the community, um, family members, uh, teachers, and we string them up and we make a, a big art installation. So they're covering the walls, flowers everywhere. They're on the floor. It, it's just really pretty and really fun a way to uh, connect. And, you know, because when we're making these, we're kind of talking about, you know, family members and remembering old stories. Um, that time, you know, an uncle said a funny joke or somebody, you know, did something really funny or silly. Again, sometimes the paper, when it gets this close, you gotta take your time and say, hey, where am I? What sheet am I pulling apart? Is that a fold or is that a different sheet? But just take your time. If you need some help, ask somebody. But just stay persistent, stay with it. Get through all of your sheets. It looks like we're on the last one. see what we got. Boom. Look at that. Beautiful flower. And so I'm going to show you a little bit of what we have in the middle. If you open up here, you can see this is the center that gets hidden with all the paper when it's fluffed up. 
And then in the back, this is what you don't see. And so you can use this to connect to a string, you can tie it to a, a fence and have it outside. Let's try this again with a bigger sheet of paper. So remember this, we had two different sets. We had the green and the white. We're going to tie it together. This is going to be big. This might be the biggest one I've ever made. We've got our paper cut. We're going to open it. And this way, it'll be a little bit easier to tell how we're progressing. Let me move this out of the way so you can see. Get our confetti out of the way. So we're going to start again. You can start on either side, but when you tie the pipe cleaner, you want to make sure the pipe cleaner is sticking out on one side. Not on this part, not on this part. You can come out here, or you can come out here. So we're going to take our top green sheet, and we're going to just pull up. We're going to go back, continue to separate. And remember, you don't want to pull too hard and rip the paper. All right. This is probably going to be great for a hat. Maybe put in your hair. Look at that. All right, and so, we are then next going to do the same thing with this side. Separate. And I really like this with the two different sets of color sheets because you can see easily how you're progressing, what sheet of paper you're on. And so you can do different color combinations, a different sheet of color on every layer. There's so much possibility. All right, so here's our flower. It's really big. You wanna give it a little bit of fluffing. And so here you can see the difference on the size of paper that you use. Whether it's something smaller, or something bigger. To recap, we have our smaller flowers, we have our larger flowers, we have the flowers that I make for my project, which are these, these orange uh, flowers that represent the Simpasuchia or the marigold. What you need, remember, paper, any color will do. You want to do your accordion fold. You can either flip the paper or you can do the other technique that I showed you. You want to tie your pipe cleaner on the side so that it's sticking out on the side. You don't want it here. You don't want it here. And this is, it makes it easier to tie onto a string like so, so that you can then have your flower on there. You want to make sure that you clip the edges. And then, again, you start separating out the paper. And as you see, it's a process. Initially, it doesn't look like a flower, but in the end, you get these beautiful flowers here. And then you can do whatever you want with them. You can make them into um, earmuffs, hat. The world's your oyster. All right. so. I'm Julio Gonzalez. I've had a lot of fun teaching you how to make these flowers and just uh, have fun with it. Talk to you soon.